Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you again. This is from Bossip and the Bossip staff. The article is by This Is My Biz, and it says Lifetime just released the trailer for their Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina documentary. Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina life stories are coming to Lifetime in a form of a new documentary. Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina didn't we almost have it all. If you're not familiar, they are a mother and daughter who tragically died right after each other, you know, after Whitney died, uh, sadly, Bobby Christina passed on as well. It says, Lifetime just released the trailer for the documentary, which premieres on Saturday, February the 6th at 8, 8, 8 p.m. ET slash PT time, immediately followed by an encore presentation of the Lifetime original movie, Whitney, 2015, at 10 p.m. Okay? And this is the trailer right here. Lifetime. Whitney was an icon. From the moment you saw her, you just fell in love with her. We build this perception of Whitney as this pop princess. She just wanted to be a mother. It wasn't easy for Chris. This is the first time I've ever spoken about Whitney. She loved her daughter more than anything. Whitney wasn't my star to me. She was my friend. You don't even know what this girl's been through. When she was younger, she was made to do a lot of not so good things. It was sick. Wow. I've never been asked that question. There's so many parallels between Whitney and Bobby Christine. 911, what's your emergency? They both had addictions. Drug use. They both perished in the bathtub. I just started screaming. The fact that she was found in a bathtub with the same fate as her mother doesn't make any sense. Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina, didn't we almost have it all? Premier Saturday, February 6th at 8, only on Lifetime. Okay, and you've seen that there for yourself. Um, very heartbreaking. Some details are definitely going to be spilled that probably wasn't even known to the public. Um, just very sad, very sad indeed. It says, in the trailer, one person can be heard explaining how much Whitney loved her daughter. She just wanted to, to be a mother. She loved her daughter more than anything they shared. The two-hour documentary will give fans an in-depth look at the parallel lives of the renowned singer Whitney Houston and her daughter Bobby Christina, who both faced similar struggles. Living in the shadows of their famous mothers, criticized for their love choices, and often used for their fame and fortune. Tragically, both turned to drugs and alcohol for relief from the pressure of being in the spotlight before prematurely leaving the earth in the same tragic way. In an emotional and candid look at the ups and downs of their personal stories and celebration of their lives, Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina offers intimate conversations with the friends and family that were closest to them. Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina, Did We Almost Have It All, is produced by Entertainment One and creates films for Lifetime. Executive producer includes Tara Long, Shauna Foster, Madison Merritt, Mark Ford, Kevin Lopez from what from E1 and Creek Films and Brandy Burnside Boy, Bree Merlinda, I apologize, Bryant and Gina McCurry. 
served as exec executive producers for Lifetime. In addition to the Lifetime documentary, a biopsy, a biopsy of the singer's life, I Wanna Dance With Somebody is set to hit theaters Thanksgiving 2022. This looks really good. Will you be watching? I definitely will be watching. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but I definitely will be watching uh, Whitney Houston is one of those iconic singers that come along once in a lifetime. Um, she is definitely one of a kind. She can do, she could do anything wrong with her voice. Um, sadly and tragically, her and her daughter, Bobby Christina, fell victim to the pressures of fame and fortune and, you know, you know what the rest is, so um, I definitely will be watching. I hope that some of my subscribers will be watching as well. Uh, we can definitely have dialogue about this. Um, most iconic uh, Whitney moment for me is when she sung the national anthem. It is the best national anthem. Um, that has ever been sung for football. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. Um, I'm sure I'm not alone in that assessment. But for me, most iconic Whitney Houston is when she sung the national anthem at the uh, Super Bowl, okay? Back in the 90s. So, yeah, most definitely iconic. But I would definitely like to hear what you out there have to say please drop down please don't forget to like subscribe and share and until then you guys i will talk to you